Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I am working on a Carlton combo basket. I'm doing these instructions for my friend Nancy at her request. So I've completed the Carlton combo down on the bottom. It's kind of leaning diagonally, so I think it will look better when I go up the sides. But to start your Carlton combo, you just start with a regular stitch. Just your regular basic stitch. Now you can see I've started it here. I've started it here. So I'll go all the way around and show you what we do next. It will be the tie stitch. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, part two in setting up for the Carlton combo is the back stitch. So I've already done the Carlton combo on the bottom of this basket, but I'm setting up to do it on the top as well after this wrapped red row. So I've done one complete row of the regular stitch. Then to back stitch, all you do is go backwards and you for form the diamond. So here's the regular stitch. I start going the opposite way. You just cross over the previous stitch, put your needle down in, make your diamond stitch. So this is forming the bottom of the diamond and I'm gonna create another set of the Carlton combo up the side because I think it'll be easier for you to see. So this is the back stitch. You probably, a lot of you already know it, but basically regular stitch, turn around and go the opposite way and stitch right over the top of it. You go right in, hopefully you could see that, come out the other side, sorry. And it creates that little cross. So I go through and straighten them because we're gonna come back up here and create a regular stitch to do the tie stitch on top of the V stitch. So part two of the Carlton combo is the back stitch. So I'll try to show you again up closer it's a regular stitch. You turn around and go the opposite way. You come in right at this stitch because see, we're trying to cross over that stitch. So you're going the next stitch over. Put your needle straight through. kind of just form it. Okay, so that's how you start the Carlton combo. You do a regular stitch and then a back stitch and that's your first row. Okay, see how it comes out? Start of it on the diamond stitch on the bottom. Thanks for watching. Hi, Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. It's late, but I wanted to make this little video. I wanna show you the tie stitch. Now I've done a previous video on a tie stitch and it was done a little bit differently. So I've learned another way to do it. Apparently there's several ways. However, I'm trying to do a Carlton combo. So this is the row that we're doing the tie stitch on. So the Carlton combo, I believe, is basically a bottom half of a diamond stitch, tie stitch, and then the top half is the top half of the diamond stitch. So at this point, we are on the tie stitch. Now I've done a previous video of the tie stitch, but I did it a little bit differently. So I learned another way and I'm gonna show it to you. 
Now I've used this really bright thread so that you could see what's happening. Makes it a little bit easier, I think. So, this is your first row. Just ignore everything else that's happening right here. This is just a regular stitch on this first row right here. So to do the tie stitch this way, you come in through the back between the coils on the right hand side. You go up and over and pull the thread down. See that? Then you come from the back between the coils. I can get it between the coils, between the coils on the left. Ooh, that thread is bright. Pull that up and over. So then you hold your thumb, I mean, I'm sorry, you hold your forefinger and your middle finger, try to hold the thread down. With your right hand, pull the thread up through and over, that makes the tie. Go back through the center, completing the tie. Don't lose your thread. I lost my thread. And go right back through the center. That's why you need your finger there. Snug it tight, put everything in place. There you go. Now we'll do it one more time. This is what it looks like on the back. It's very bright, but the purpose is so you could see it. So we'll do another one. Come in between the two coils or at the bottom of your regular stitch to the right. Go up and over. This is hard for me because I'm not used to pulling up and over that way. Okay, then you come from the back again on the left-hand side through the coils. See that? And then pull it down snug. Pull it down snug. Then you're gonna go up and over. Now hold your forefinger there and hold. See how it's looping up over my forefinger? And then if you look at the back, I'm holding it this way with my middle finger. Then with your right hand, pull your thread through and you're gonna create the tie. Then you go back through the coils at the center and go through the loop that you've created with your forefinger. Can you see that? Pull your thread through. Yes, I have my pajamas on. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> okay, pull it tight. And you have your tie. And that's the back again. Okay, one more time. From the back, on the right, come down at the bottom of your regular stitch between the coils. Go up and over, and I pull it pretty snug here because you don't want to be messing with it. Pull it up and over, come back through the coils, see my needle. Come back through the needles, the two coils at the bottom, on the left now, then go up and over. I start snugging it up here. So up here, this is the finger part that's kind of hard to learn. Forefinger over your forefinger, hold it down with your middle finger. Okay, that's the back. 
So we're going back to the front here. So you take your thread and you pull it over. See how you're pulling it over? You're making the tie. So then you go with your needle through the coils. Oops, I turned it loose there. Through the coils, through that little loop right in the middle. And that's gonna create your design on the back. Now that one loosened up quite a bit, but that's gonna create, you're gonna have the same pattern on the back all the way around. And this is what the front's going to look like. Now, I hope this thread is bright enough that you could see how the pattern is formed. So, hope that helps. It's a different way of doing it. This is the way my teacher does it. And I just learned it the wrong way by watching different videos before. So, I have two different videos on the tie stitch. But um, whatever way is easier for you to do it, there you go. Thanks for watching. So, Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. So I'm trying to work on learning the Carlton combo and I believe it is basically the bottom half of a diamond stitch, this tie stitch, and then the top half of a diamond stitch. So in my previous video, I showed you how to do the tie stitch. That's in the bright yellow, so you could see it better. And then now we are going clear around and doing just a regular stitch. So here's where I stopped the tie stitch, came back out, came up and over, and I am creating just a regular stitch, going along with the blue. I'm gonna switch from blue to yellow to blue again. So the middle to, the middle of the Carlton combo will be yellow in the tie stitch. So here we're gonna create a regular stitch all the way around, and then I'll go, when I get to the this point, I'll go back and do a back stitch and that'll be the top of the diamond stitch. And I'll show you when I get to that point. Thanks for watching. Virginia here, continuing on the Carlton combo. I'm doing it for a friend of mine. Her name is Nancy. So just to recap, we started with a regular stitch, then we did a regular stitch and back stitch. And on top of the back stitch, we did the tie stitch. So here's the tie stitch here. And then our last row is the regular stitch. And now we're gonna back stitch. So you get right to the beginning where you started, pull your thread over, Go right through there, and you're gonna form the top of the diamond stitch. So the Carlton combo, from what I can figure out, is diamond stitch on the bottom, tie stitch in the middle, and diamond stitch on top, the top of the diamond stitch. So that is a Carlton combo. Now it might look you might be able to see it a little bit better if it was on the side of a basket. And I'll do the side, but here's the basic idea. Bottom of the diamond stitch. Might help if I get it on the camera. Bottom of the diamond stitch, tie stitch, top of the diamond stitch, Carlton combo right there. So let me show you again. After the tie stitch, we're just gonna go back and do the back stitch. Just go right over every stitch. Okay. 
I'll just do a few so you can see what it looks like. Now I take the time to straighten my thread up up here and just have the crossover go at the very top because we're going to start the pattern over again. So here we go. Looks like the Carlton combo here. Diamond. Now we're going a little diagonal because we're at the bottom of the basket. Diamond on the bottom, tie stitch, and the top of the diamond stitch. That's the Carlton combo. So I'll go ahead and go all the way around and show you what it looks like when I get the back stitch done the whole way around. Okay. It's different, different stitch. And it looks different when you um, use different types of thread because I've noticed some people that have done it have gone through and split the thread. I don't like to split thread. Uh, I feel like it weakens it and I don't like to split between the pine needles unless you have to. That's the way I was taught. So it looks a little different. I like using this bright yellow so that you can really see what's going on, especially when I was showing you the tie stitch. Thanks for watching and I'll show you a little bit more as we get further along. Okay, continuation of the Carlton combo. I've gone all the way around now. Did the forward stitch, basic stitch, turn around and went backwards. And it formed the Carlton combo. So here's the back stitch over it and it made the top of the diamond stitch, bottom of the diamond stitch, top of the diamond stitch, tie stitch in between. That is the Carlton combo, as far as I can tell. I like the bright yellow. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning. And when I finished the back stitch, I ended up down here by this little knot. So I just worked my needle up through this row and came out where I need to start again. So on the next row, we are just going to create a regular stitch and we're just going to go through the top where the X is on each of these and go all the way around just a regular stitch and then the row above it we'll tie it in and do another tie see because when we created when we did the back stitch here you've got the top of the diamond stitch but you've also got the bottom of the diamond stitch so we'll just continue on and do another set of the Carlton combo, and then we'll start going up the side. I'll show you as we go further along. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. I like the bright colors. It's really helping to see the thread.